Welcome, I'm Dr. Eli Sluch, and today we're going to be talking about full thickness corneal transplants, or PKP. The cornea is the windshield of the eye. It covers the pupil and allows light to pass inside the eye to be focused on your retina. Just like your car windshield, it needs to stay clean, clear, and without cracks in order for you to see. The cornea can become opaque or severely curved by trauma, infections, or conditions like keratoconus. This directly blocks the light from coming in and distorts the image. As long as your cornea is not perforated or has a recalcitrant infection, you only need to have surgery when you want to improve your vision. The donor tissue has been donated by an organ donor, just like a heart transplant. Let's talk about the surgery itself. The surgery is done on an outpatient basis and takes about 60 minutes. Usually only local anesthesia is required and there is no need to put you to sleep. You will have an IV to administer relaxing medication as well as a device to help keep the eye open. During surgery, your old cornea is removed and a new cornea is sewn onto the eye. A contact lens is placed on the eye after the procedure for about a week to keep it comfortable. It takes up to a year to regain vision since the shape of the eye keeps changing due to scarring and suture removal. You will use eye drops for several months after the procedure and will be on steroid drops long term. It is critical to not rub the eye after the procedure to keep the graft in place. As with any surgery, there are a set of risks associated with it. The biggest risks are infection and graft failure. Other risks include glaucoma, cataract formation, iris damage, droopy eyelid, loss of vision, or loss of the eye. Glasses are always required for best vision and your vision may not be perfect afterwards. If you have any questions about the procedure, we'll go over that during your consultation visit.